What the fuck's happening? Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a fun, packed, well jammed video. First of all, we've got a session in. Oh, then we need to go and get a child from nursery. And then the wife, the two kids are going to the dentist to get their teeth checked. And then we're going to Antrim Castle Gardens for the um, Christmas, uh, what's it called? Enchanted Garden, that's what it's called. So sit back, relax. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, if you feel like you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Just enjoy it. We're here for a good time. Let's go. Before we're going for check out that. Check out the arm pump. <laughs> oh, yes. Where's your bat? I can't count. Huh? What do you huh? say? Please. Kitty can Please. Yeah. But I got more. Frickin' heck. Get me a We're going to be late. We're not going to go. Make off 20 minutes to get there. Oh, don't you worry. I will be there in 20 minutes. Yeah, but if I will be here. Safely. See right there, Abel? Yeah. Right there in that building there? Yeah. That's Daddy's old gym. Very hard to see because of the sun. It's in there. They're going to put my dentist and COVID staff. No, your mum was like, have you got a mask? And I was like, no. And then she pulled her mask down, was sat in the waiting room for the mask. But they're going to let you in anyway for the mask. We darling left there something. So I said, I'll sit and hold it like this. Is it in your eyes too, son? Ah. Oh. I'm going to get it anyway. Is it? How do I get it? There. I'll just set the gift in the keys, right? I don't have mine. No way. Oh. Can't we block the way? There, I'll set the gift. Can't we? I'm frozen. Many cavities, you think you're gonna have to get filled in today? None. Let me see your teeth. Let me see. Let me see. Stop swimming right in, you'll probably see my beard. Let me see. Or my tash. Let me see. Open oh, smell. Open. These fillings. That, that isn't really a filling. Even though it's silver, it's not a real filling. Michael, don't be saying this place. Your teeth actually look really well in this camera. Oh. The filter's actually working well for you. You have no filter, you twit. <laughs> Thank you, my honey. Green Thomas. Sorry, Gabriel. Why do I not do? Yeah, but well, let me see your teeth. Oh, you're getting six felons and two teeth took out. Oh, I, I don't have two felons. You're, you're, the dentist is going to take all your teeth out of your mouth. Don't listen to him. He is, his, <laughs> see, the, see the porky pies that is coming out of this boy's mouth today? <laughs> Three, two, one. Hold on. It's going to be a crazy ride. <laughs> Breaking news. Right. Can someone explain this to me, right? One minute. Why is that not coming up? That's it. Right, can someone explain this to me? Why has Henry Cavall been let go, sacked, or just fucking walked away from his role as Superman? Henry Cavall is Superman. He is fucking Superman. And if you watch the Black Adam movie, at the end of Black Adam, he appears as Superman in his Superman fucking outfit. And then he's just released a statement on his Instagram Stating, I am not going to be Superman anymore. It fucking saddens me and it winds me up because if anyone know, anyone who knows me knows that I am a fucking huge Superman fan. And Henry Cavall, in my generation, has been the best Superman. The best Superman. My generation. Actually, I'd probably argue to say that he's been the fucking best ever Superman. He's no more. He's not Superman anymore. Fuck me, like. What the fuck? Oh! Winds me up, man. Winds me up. Can you find the fence? Go, go on, on the roller coaster. I wait. I wait. I go on the roller coaster. Yeah, but I have to be really quick so we'll go and get you choose. Wow. <laughs> the mummy, silly mummy and daddy thought we were doing good. 
<laughs> Here. What happened? <laughs> Great well. idea. Put his slippers on so we can put his wetler boots on whenever we get there and we come out with no wetler boots, only slippers. Even wash your shoes. Oh! Well. What? Well, 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 you may hope people don't think you're really the French. <laughs> After us thinking we've fucking done everything right, we've left <laughs> with no shoes. He's no shoes, mate. He's out with his fucking Grinch slippers on. Christmas, a time for miracles, wishing to find a remedy, hoping for better days to come. Memories of flickering shadows, cold nights, hearing the wind blows the snowflakes, reminds me of something. And just like that, another year wrapped up at the Enchanted Garden. Remember this time we were here this last year? I, I don't know if I actually, I, I did record it, I don't know if I actually showed it. Another year wrapped up anyway. Freezing, feel like my fucking toes are about to fall. Lean off me. I'll put a photo up here. I had this, the pulled beef brisket from, I can't remember what the wee thing was called. But we went to the hatched. Sherelle's got, well Gabriel's got a dairy, dairy allergy. Sherelle's breastfeeding so she can't have dairy. Long way winded. But we asked. The hat. Anything in, did you have a hang or dairy free? And they were just downright ignorant fucks. So we just left lemons and went somewhere else. And I got this pulled beef brisket and it was fucking gangster, mate. Lovely. Uh, I can forget what it was called to give them a shout out. We're homeward bound now. It's for you to be I want a tip for bottomless for Christmas. Ooh, he won't have to you a tip for bottomless will do. The last segment of the video, don't even know how long the video is. I wanted to wrap this video up with a couple of points that have been pondering my head over the last few weeks and few months, just to bring the closure and the end of 2022. I feel that 2022 has been a monumental year in terms of my own internal personal growth as a fucking human being and as a father. I think I have now found my purpose in life for this moment in time anyway for for right now which is to set the best example and to be the best 
possible daddy for my two sons to be the ultimate role model for the both of them to let them know that if you want to put your head towards something and fucking give it 100% the possibilities of you achieving the goal or achieving the task at hand has multiplied by like 10 times and also I was rambling on but these are the sort of things that go in my head and also what I've only discovered this at this young age of 32 is that the opinions of others don't fucking matter man the opinions of, I wish I had discovered this years ago that why am I taking on board the opinions of other people who are nothing but downright lazy good for nothing bastard they have done nothing with their life, they've achieved nothing, they're fucking wastes of space, they rip the fucking back out of people behind their back, they contribute nothing to society, but yet I'm letting these people, their opinions on me, affect me as a human being. Well, I wish I had discovered this years ago. Their opinions are, they're, they're, they mean nothing. They're nothingless. They don't mean anything. It's a load of fucking shit. And if this is one, one piece of advice that I could give you and I'm speaking directly to my two children here when they eventually maybe watch this one day is don't fucking worry about other people's opinions let it run off your fucking back like water off a duck's back it, their opinions don't come from a good place they don't come from a good place it's a fucking load of shit I like this time of the year because it's the time of the year where you sit and you ponder and you wonder fuck have I done enough this year could I do more next year what sort of goals and what tasks can I set myself for the year coming and I am fucking very much looking forward to get into 2023 massive things are happening for me personally i'm going to fucking embark on the 2023 belfast marathon prep for that starts on the 8th of january other things i'm got in the pipeline taking the child to taking the oldest to manchester again to watch an r my United match hopefully going to try and expand this youtube channel and make it bigger and whatever else whatever goals come in in line with 2023 also just trying to be the best fucking the best daddy and the best husband that i could possibly be because that's ultimately all that matters in my life right now is being one being the best father two being the best husband and that is it two fucking critical tasks in my life i hope you liked this video if you did and you think you got any benefit from it smash the fucking like button hit the subscribe button we're off we're off rolling we're rolling sorry about the rant but i had to fucking do it i had to do it i had to pull over there and just get it done Let's go. Let's fucking do it. It's Freddy, boy. It's Freddy, bitches.